Check them out. Let's start the building process. Let's set them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them all. <laughs> Godzilla. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Godzilla. Come. Dish, dish. Dish. Oh. He's going to his later, guys. That thing is the size of like literally a large quarter, guys. If quarters got, got large. Hold. Hold on. <laughs> Tear that thing apart and teach it a lesson, little guy. Godzilla is insane. Look at him holding on. Can you lift it out of the water? Yeah. Oh. Oh, what chin a beast, chin ups! <laughs> You're using oh. his claws, you see his claws? Yeah, I see his claws covered in the tilapia meat. Oh, that just never lets go. What a cool animal you have, Joey, that's yeah. sick. We are going to take all of the water out. Even though the water's doing pretty well, we're getting rid of it. The quarantine. Exactly. Serious quarantine business, money. guys, serious business. All about the quarantine, go ahead. Hold, hold. Send dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh no! Oh, Kelly, save that oh, one! Quickly! Quickly! So quickly! Got them all. There it is. Alright, so now we send the great final place of rest. Go to, ahead. To the great beyond. To the great beyond and beyond into the great. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Whoa! Oh release them all. No, release them. Whee! Oh, over 200 goldfish actually. Probably just exactly 200 goldfish. Look at all of the goldfish in this massive tank. And there's two big ones, but one of the larger ones has fallen into the great beyond. Moment of silence. I had the moment of silence. These goldfish will be detoxified, unpar what's the parasite? Unparasitified. What? Whoa, what? Oh, oh my god, sorry. Oh my god. What is this? Apparently there's a vortex in this little area, so <laughs> goldfish stay away from that little uh, water cleaner thing. I'm sorry, what is that thing called again? Oh, the water polisher? Yeah, water polisher, guys. This is a good way to clean your tank and make it crystal clean like Joey Slam has all of his tanks, guys. Crystal clear tankage. <laughs> Getting a quick oh, little nice. quick little peacock bass break really quick, you know what I'm saying, Joey Slaying, what's up, catch them all. Flip or die, flip or die, Kelly, flip or die, on the mini rod, show them the rod, show them the rod you caught it with. Oh, <laughs> Looking good. Nice and the most beautiful, oh, well that was a, well, she swam away. <laughs> we finally got this huge package from Amazon, yeah. I needed a temporary pond because my freaking peacock bass will not eat goldfish. I'm trying to train them to eat goldfish, but she just won't eat goldfish. I don't know what the deal is, but I have something to catch fish in from Amazon. Not really catch fish, but to keep fish and to catch fish. I don't know. We're going to do a lot with this stuff. Guys. Uh, why don't you use scissors? I'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do have a scissors. Let's open this up this box. And call it a day. I, I just realized the box didn't open that way, but it doesn't matter. Oh, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I don't care how young and how old you are, if you have a Lego the size of this, you're gonna be happy with it. These things are huge, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back really quick before we start building, and I'm gonna do a little sweep because this looks absolutely ridiculous thanks to this enormous, beautiful tree I have. That's disgusting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally cleaned this up and I just realized we had a leaf blower too. So I'm not touching that broom ever again in my life. Jesus. Oh, yes. Don't break them. Yes. <laughs> oh man, look how many there are. These are so big. So I got these on Amazon, guys. I don't even remember how much they cost. I think they're like 200 bucks, but they're huge. Look how big they are. Construction manual for jumbo blocks, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're trying to build right there today. I'm gonna use this to build a bait pond for my peacock bass, guys. Since the peacock is not eating the goldfish, I need something to hold small baits that I can catch, like small cichlids, Mayans, tilapia, stuff like that, very small, like the one that Shamu choked on, except a little bit smaller. It actually says on the box right here that it's seven foot by 10 foot. So that lets us build a very, very big pond, guys, if you know how tall a basketball hoop is. By the way, I can dunk. <laughs> 
this is a very, very, very large pond liner, guys. It's better to go bigger than to be smaller, guys. If you don't have what you need, then you don't have what you need. For size comparison, ladies and gentlemen, this is the pond liner. These are the Legos, giant Legos, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just a massive amount of Legos and building materials, but I'm looking forward to it because the challenge of building something and building it quickly in a timely fashion before the sun goes down while we need bait is a challenge worth accepting. Don't need a hoe for this one, but it always looks cool in the thumbnails. Yeah, get that hoe out of here. Let's just get this box. We're gonna use this for the garbage, guys. Oh yeah. This is how large our pond can be. It can be five feet long wide if I want it to be a foot on each side and height. Catch them all is good at math. Let me move this out of the way and let's start the building process. It might take me between 30 seconds and five minutes to build this thing, guys. What do you guys think? We're about to find out. Ready, set, go. That's it. Now we're just building this pond higher, guys. I didn't think we'd have that many Legos, but it looks like we had just a ton of them, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we do have enough Legos to build any temporary pond anywhere. So we can use these Legos to build a temporary pond that we can move, lift up, and put anywhere we need. So if we need a bait pond, boom, Legos, boom, Legos, boom, Legos. But we do need water in this pond, and as you can see, it's about 300 gallons if I had to take a guess. So we need to have a fast way to get water into this pond without me carrying a five gallon bucket 250 times. Come on, we have some big fish we have to borrow water from. Come on, come on. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this big peacock straight down. Oh my god, that's what we're trying to train here, guys. We're trying to train that peacock bass because that peacock bass eats cichlids, guys. Check them out. Check out the mouth on that thing. Huge, very, very large. All these fish eat cichlids except for the paku. They will, the paku don't really, that they will chew on one. They will chase one down and take a bite out of it. But for the most part, the peacock bass will absolutely obliterate a live fish. And the red tails will also tear up a live fish, guys. The peacock bass right over there won't eat any type of dead prey unless it's live when you're first training it because it's a very, very predatory fish. It likes live prey, guys. Everyone looks great, but I need to borrow that water, guys. I just wanted to say thank you for letting me borrow the water. Give everyone a little sneak peek of what's to come as far as the peacock bass training with the live fish I'm gonna be putting inside this Lego pond. Oh, it's about that time, guys. Time to put the guns to use on this anaconda, guys. Two hands, two hands, guys. It's going crazy. We need this to fill up our Lego pond. Borrowing the fish's water is something that we need to do. Check it out. We ran out of length. Dang it. It's okay because it's Legos. We can move those anywhere. That's the whole point of this Lego thing, guys. We can move these Legos anywhere we want. It can be right here. It can be right over there. There's an anaconda on your leg, Kelly. <laughs> One chip over the anaconda. Again. <laughs> I gotta move my chairs really quick. And it's time to move that Lego pond, guys. I think that should be good for now. We're gonna see what happens. Ah, connected, connected. I think we're good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to sneak this over there without destroying our building. Mm -hmm. ah, so close, I just got a little hasty moving it so fast. The best part about a Lego pond, guys, is if you do break it or destroy it, you can just put it back together. Check it out. Boom. Oh, Push it. Boom. I'm usually done when I say boom. <laughs> well, well, what do we have here? A finally put together, well built Lego pond. Oh, I'll oh, give you a second, guys. I'm back and better than ever, guys. I have two bricks because I want to secure the ponds inside the middle, guys. Two bricks on each side. Uh -oh. uh oh. I'm gonna go ahead and lay our tarp down and try my best to secure it in a way that it won't come off the sides and a way that will hold all of the water in it best that I can. It's about that time. The most satisfying time. Time to fill up the pond, guys. Let's see, Let's see it. Guys, I think we have just enough tarp to fill up our pond. I need to shove some of the ends inside the Legos, guys, so I can make sure that it can hold water and I won't have any of that overflow. Boom, boom, so four corners, boom. There we go, that's pretty solid, it's not moving. Come on, ah, that's it, guys. So, 
this whole Lego pond is pretty much ready. If you could just take a step back, you'll see everything. Look how serious this thing is. It's like literally a brick pond, except it's just made of Legos. Like there's nothing wrong. It's almost completed, guys. We have the liner pretty sturdy in here. Now we just have to see if it holds water. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up. I'm just gonna plug it in and hopefully the water comes pouring in. Stand by. Check it out, check it out. Check it out, guys. Yeah, here, I hear it. Oh my Jesus. god. Whoa. This is huge, guys. This is a very, very, very strong water source. I have to fix the pond quick. No. Hold on. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ah. All right, all right. All right, we're good, we're good. So, this should fill up like almost instantly, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty good, guys. We have the waterfall going in. And honestly, with the big filter, I feel like this pond can just support itself and be good. But this has to fill up completely for us to really know. All right, guys, that's enough water. I'm gonna <gasps> wait, wait, it. it's gonna, over here, over here, it's bowing, what? it's bowing. Oh no, don't bow. <laughs> Stay there, stay oh there. What I'm gonna God. do is shut off the water, guys. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. No, it's still good. We're still pretty good, guys. <laughs> oh, it's cracking. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> look, you see how this is connected over here? This is doing pretty well. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. My it's God. just, it's gonna oh, be. No. Oh, gosh. no, no way. It's not going down. It's no, it's gonna stand up. It's going be strong. <laughs> be strong, my Lego pod. No, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Don't build a Lego pond at home. Your fish are gonna end up all over the floor like this. At least, at least it happened now and didn't happen in the middle of the night, guys. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to keep all of my baits at Joey Slam's house, but Joey has a lot of the baits anyway, so whatever. We tried our best, guys. We're coming back with a stronger pond. I'm gonna rebuild this thing, kill that plane up there, and I'm gonna come back with a stronger Lego pond, guys, full of fish. Mark my words, it's because my name is Catch em All. Catch em All. Catch em All.